Good morning. What is today? Tuesday. What today is? Today is Tuesday. I hope you had a great Monday. Mondays are don't have to be bad, right? <laughs> if we go into them with good attitudes, they'll at least be better than we had perceived they were going to be. So that helps Mondays be better just in our heads, right? Anyway, I hope you had a good Monday. I had a busy Monday. I hope you're having a good Tuesday and a good week. And here we are almost the, almost the middle of of September. That means it's nearly October. That means it's almost Thanksgiving. And I don't like Christmas, so we'll skip Christmas. <laughs> so it's just too too much stuff and not enough substance to Christmas, in my in my opinion. But anyway, but I, it's not like I don't like it. I, I justify that and explain that. It's not like I don't like it. I just don't like all the commercialism of it. How's that? Anyway, so don't get mad at me or anything like that. But anyway, so it's it's nearly next year. Oh my goodness, where did this year go, right? It seemed like it dragged, 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 and then it's like boom, surprise, it's next year, <laughs> right? So here we are on the on the verge of a of a end of this year, lots of holiday stuff going on, lots of all kinds of crazy stuff going on, and then we're going into a new year. What will it even be? Twenty twenty three. Wow. That's pretty interesting, pretty cool. We couldn't have envisioned this even 20 years ago. We didn't imagine being here, right? We couldn't imagine all the things that could happen. And that's good things and bad things. That's the thing about life. It's not ever, it's probably not proper English, it's never all bad. And it's never all good. <laughs> There's this mix of, of challenging situations and good situations and hard situations and easy situations. Oh, this is an easy decision. Yeah, we'll take that one million dollars just put it in my account right <laughs> or a hard decision mm, do I want a million today or spread it over the years well that would be a great decision I'd love to be, have to be making that decision right <laughs> but, anyway, but anyway but I ain't gonna buy the ticket to try <laughs> but anyway you know it's, but but we, our days are full of decisions and and we it starts when we our eyelids open and we realize it's a morning <laughs> right oh another day and right there we have a choice do I want this to be a great day or is this going to be a bad day? You know, there's, there's some days you wake up. I remember waking up the day of my mom's funeral and I was like, oh, I didn't ever want to wake up for this day. That was a rough day, right? My daddy's funeral, my aunt's funeral, and they all came within a year, you know, and, and the waking up on those days is hard because you're like, oh, let me just get through this day. But you get through that day, right? And then you wake up and each day it's not as raw right still have memories and you still have emotions wrapped up in all of that but it's not it doesn't stay as bad as that one day but that was only one day right now I don't wake up and think oh I better go to my mom's funeral I don't wake up and think that every day because it's not happening every day right uh, this morning I woke up and think I got to get some work done oh my goodness I, I'm going to let some clients go or something I got to figure something out right but but you wake up and you start weighing what you've got to do that day and where you got to go and what you need to accomplish and sometimes rest is an accomplishment right sometimes just to go I'm unplugging all y'all and I'm taking the day off so all y'all can fire me I don't care <laughs> right and so whatever you need to accomplish and you start thinking about all of those things and our attitudes about that day begin to be formed and shaped the second we open our eyes and start thinking oh it's a new day you know what that's why his mercies are new every morning. They're not new every morning for God. He doesn't need them to be new every morning. It's never day, so it's never morning where he is. It's all it's never night, so it's never morning where he is. It's it's always day. There's not a new morning for him. He's he renews his mercies every day for our our benefit so that we can make it through. And why do we want to make it through? Here's my scripture for the day. Oh, so it should be short today, I think. Uh, Paul says in 2 Corinthians 1, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies. Those mercies are new. I didn't even tie those in until just now. The Father of mercies. Those And the Father who of mercies who, who makes those mercies new for our new day. He doesn't ever have a new day. It's already done. He's already seen it all. He's already in the end, and he's in the beginning, and he's in all the in-betweens. There's not a new day for him, right? So he makes his mercies new for our new day, for our mornings. That's just a benefit he's, because he's a loving father. So may the, the Father, let's see, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, the God of all comfort. 
Do we need comfort? Comfort precedes peace, I think, right? And I'm just thinking out loud. But comfort would precede peace. Because when we understand that God can comfort us in the middle of our situations, however bad they look, however turbulent they look, however rough they look, however challenging they look, He can offer us that comfort. And when we have that comfort, then we can accept that peace, right? So he's the God of all comfort. And listen to this. He comforts us in all our tribulations. Oh, it doesn't say he comforts us from 8 in the morning till noon and you're on your own after that. It doesn't say he comforts us uh, up to a certain point. But once those tribulations get past intensity level 8, you're on your own. He doesn't comfort you anymore. Right? As long as he just lower level, lower lower level intensity tribulations I'll comfort you in but the big ones you ought to find some something else. no he comforts us in all our tribulations all our struggles all our trials all our life situations whatever is going on he's going to bring his comfort and his peace right into the mix so I, I immediately think of the story of Jesus in the storm he didn't stand on the bank going well I'm gonna go you know, the storm's gone. I'm going to go help. I will go out there. When, that, when the storm's gone, I'll go. No, he walked out to them in the middle of their storm, in the middle of the night. He was the light. Otherwise, he couldn't have seen, right? <laughs> he walked to them in the middle of the storm. He did not wait till the storm was past to walk to them, right? So he comes to us in our tribulations. He doesn't say, you know what? When you get that all sorted out, come back and we'll talk. He doesn't say, oh, this is, this is too crazy for me. You know, y'all settle down, and then and now we'll see what we can do there. No, he comforts us in our struggles, in those challenges. In, and he understands that every day has its own, Jesus even said, every day has its own trouble. Every day has sufficient trouble. So don't borrow trouble from tomorrow, and don't worry about trouble from yesterday. Today, just take care of every situation today, because many of our situations today will set us up for good stuff tomorrow, or they can set us up for a bad If I spend all my money in my accounts today, tomorrow might not be a good day, because I might have a bill come in, right? So what our decisions today sets up our tomorrows, but, but God doesn't say, you know, Jesus said, today has enough trouble. Just deal with today. Just deal with it. Don't borrow and don't worry about the future just handle today and so he says he's like he comforts us in all of our tribulations all of our challenges anything nothing you face today will be bigger than than what God can handle nothing you that comes at you today whether it's trying to wear away at your faith trying to suck that hope and peace out of you (laughs) right or whether it's trying to trick you into worrying about the future or whether you you you're worried about being sick or someone you know you love is sick none of those things are off the list god is there with his comfort with his peace with his hope with his mercy with his grace he's going to carry you through it you know i say that a lot in my blog i write for the caregivers that are devotion daily devotions for caregivers uh, I, when I write those, a lot of times I'm like, he's got to carry me today. I just don't have it. I, I am, and what I do is I go back to my declarations, which I talked about a little bit yesterday. I'm just going to trust you today, God. I, I, my emotions are all over the place. Maybe my thoughts are all over the place. Maybe I got pressing situations on, every, and, I, and I'm just making stuff up. Okay, so don't, don't call. I'm okay. <laughs> but you know, maybe there's trouble with finances. Maybe there's trouble with uh, not feeling well. Maybe Chris isn't feeling well. Maybe maybe there's a relationship problems. Maybe there's, I don't know, fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. It doesn't matter. God's got it covered. Whatever's going on, he's got the mercy, the hope, the grace, the strength. And sometimes when it is just overwhelming, I just have to make my declaration. I'm going to trust you anyway. I'm going to believe in you. I'm going to retain my faith in in your saving power, in your your power to give me strength, your ability to lift me up, your ability to carry me through this, whatever this is for you or me to might be today, right? We just sometimes we've got to get to that point. Where we just go, I'm just going to trust him. Let's read this again. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies. He's the Father, the Creator of mercies. And He makes them every new, every morning. He makes them new every morning for us. The God of all comfort. There is no comfort outside of Him who comforts us in our tribulation. Listen to this next part. It's, it's important. That we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. He comforts me so that I can comfort you. So sometimes we look at our, we look, we do not sometimes, <laughs> we look at our struggles and sometimes we have questions, right? Why? And you know what? There's not ever going to be a good enough answer for my whys. And I'm okay with that. Because the truth of the matter is that when I trust him, and I, I lay them all over on him every day. And sometimes I have to do it every hour. Sometimes I have to do it every minute or second. Nope, God, I'm putting this back in. No, nope, I'm not carrying this today. I'm not carrying this today. I'm going to give it back to you, God. When I do that, his comfort comes in. His, then I can let his peace reign. And then I can come here and go, you know what? God's comfort really works. God's, God's peace really works. Just just make your declaration today. So I'm going to encourage you with the same encouragement and comfort I got from him. Trust him for today. Make that your declaration. I will trust in you this day. I'm going to tr I'm just, you don't, maybe you can't trust him for the whole day. And I'm being kind of serious and kind of facetious. Maybe you can't trust him for the whole day. I'm going to trust you till 9 o'clock, God. <laughs> and at 9 o'clock, then I'm going to trust you till 10. And then at 10 o'clock, I, I think I can trust you till noon. At noon, I'll trust you till, till maybe 3. 3, I'll trust you till 4. Right? If you have to do it 100 times a day, just go back to him and say, I'm going to trust you with everything. I'm going to accept your comfort. I'm going to accept your mercies that are renewed for me every morning. I'm going to accept your peace. And I'm going to let that peace reign in my heart. Why? How? By let, just pouring it over on him and letting him carry it for you. And sometimes you got to crawl up in his lap and let him carry you. Be comforted today. Be strengthened. You have. I hope you have. I hope the God of hope fills you with hope and comfort and joy and peace, knowing that He's got you today. Have a great day, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.